Alrighty, yo yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 back with another reaction video today. We're gonna to react to these boxers need to be jailed for these knockouts. Everybody got sent to the shadow realm. So it's by Chiseled Adonis. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you hear something in the background, that's my fan. Listen, it was a hundred degrees today, okay? Summer's officially here. Okay, I got my air conditioner on, but that motherfucker, that motherfucker don't really get back here like that into this room. It gets into my main bedroom, but it don't get in here. So, I just gotta, I gotta keep the fan on, man. I got to, I got to. I'm gonna be sweating like a motherfucker up in here, man. Round two, fight. Wait a minute, this man caught a right then a left that nearly ejected him out of the ring. He went swimming underneath the bottom rope. First thing he needs to do is sue God for those hands they gave him, because it's clearly false advertisement. How you put up both hands to God and you ain't blocked not a goddamn punch? God damn. Sun fell faster than a marriage annulment in Las Vegas. One second you boxing, the next you humping the floor. Homie need to update his router. Not a single thing he was trying was connected. His favorite artist must be Jay Holiday, cause he just got put to bed. He got knocked out and reset his console. By the time he opened his eyes, all he gonna see is. <laughs> it's my turn. Them. Fighter, are you still boxing? R.I.P. R.I.P. Bishop Bullwinkle. This man Bullwinkle. tried to guard with his face. He got his jaw checked so many times, you'd have thought he visited the orthodontist in the ring. His hands started participating in the Benedict Arnold Challenge. They became turncoats. How they gonna start working for the other team? Might I add, he had to grab the bottom rope to prevent himself from being ejected out the ring. Since when was there seat belts in boxing? Look at it in slow motion. Man had his bell ring so many times, you'd have thought UPS was dropping off a delivery. How you get a five-piece extra combo of chicken when you're named after pork? Look at the discount referee in the front row. He was not ready for a human to land in his lap. But look at the man right behind him. That man upset. He put all his money on Porky and looked like he lost every single dime. His favorite Pokemon must be Chansey. He hates defense. But much to his chagrin, he in the ring with a Hitman Chan. You know fighting type moves are super effective against normal Pokemon. Finish him. Damn. God damn, this man laid out looking like he on sale at the local fish market. His career done, there is no way it's not over. God damn. First off, homie caught a two-piece at church's chicken, proceeded to have his soul leave his body. Then he slammed his medulla oblongata on the floor and then proceeded to tear his ACL, MCL, PCL, LCL, and his meniscus to boot. And now look at him, comatose. He was deceased before he made it to the ground. There must have been a shortage of chairs. He took a seat on his ankle. He got turned into a napkin. Homie got folded. To make matters even worse, look how determined he looked after he missed his punch. Little did he know that was his last act before he was sent to the Shadow Realm. Finish him. Welcome, punch! He might have just became the new face of life alert. The knockout involuntarily enrolled him at Planet Fitness. How he doing glute bridges while entering the afterlife? The knockout turned him homosexual. He might be suffering from anal bleeding. His foot went 10 inches deep into his asshole. <laughs> Register him as a sex offender. How you sexually assault yourself? Damn, and the cameras had a clear shot of his Nike socks. Adidas is up 17%. Damn. Legend has it, he didn't wake up until 2063. Somebody get the government on the phone. The knockout exposed him as a shapeshifter. Look how he transmogrifies into a protractor. 
Put him in the math section of the SATs. He should be helping children with arithmetic. He came to the fight fully equipped with a kickstand. And we get a side view of the Immaculate Blue Bridge. Look at the deodorant on display. And look at him on the floor, laying there like a defeated cockroach. This is why I'm not in the fight game. I get laid out like this. I'm going to be selling Bibles on the boulevard for the rest of my life. He's going to need a medic. Somebody please call a goddamn EMT. Oh, shit. They actually called them. Well, unfortunately, they couldn't hear anything the medics had to say because he didn't have Raycons in his ears. And now a word from our sponsors. And now back to your regularly scheduled... Sponsor Black Fire Wings. Fighter, are you still boxing? As you can see, I am not dead. Oh, fucking do it again. <laughs> Oh shit, here we go again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. That nigga can eat a dick. I said fuck that nigga. Oh my uh, lord in heaven, did you damn. see what the uppercut did to this man's head? Not only did it send him face first into the mat, look what it did to his hairline. Line up looking like the nose of Mr. Game and watch, his hair is thinner than a bulimic anorexic model. And we're not going to talk about this man's abdominals, homie got more rolls than the Alabama Crimson Tide. Damn. Uppercut cleared this man's nasal congestion. Mucinex might go out of business if this man puts his left hand on the shelf. Put him in the <laughs> snot shot, put or jab. Javelin Olympics, it probably flew about 76 meters. Oh, you can... Damn. Ah! It's oh. my turn! Boom! <laughs> But by some miracle or act of God, this man was able to withstand this uppercut from hell and somehow survive. And he rolled over smiling. Homie must have a death wish. Finish him. This man got to have the weapons of mass destruction Bush couldn't find in his left hand. How you keep killing opponents like this? Once again, he targeted the hairline, or I should say lack thereof. And it appears the mission was complete. Homie hit the bones out of his opponent's body, had him falling like Peter Griffin on the episode he wished for no bones. But take a look at bad hairline Poppy as he gets knocked out and sent to the Shadow Realm. Look how he headbutts and investigates his opponent's triceps to find out what is powering him being sent into the gulag. But much to his chagrin, his body could not stay upright to find leads during this investigation. The knockout must have glitched and damaged his entire console upon it being restarted. Nobody knows what allegiance it has. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the main event. It's time. Damn. Final round. Fight. Son oh, of Odin, shit. child of Arceus, descendant of Morgan Freeman, follower of Joshin. We just witnessed what the murder. Bug, Little did man. this man know he was on death row. He ate a three-piece combo before he elevated to the upper room. Man's is starfished on the ground. He got knocked out in 4K. Look as his body descends into the afterlife. Yeah. Look at that wiggle. He's that having an exorcism too. in the gulag. He's bug. in a completely different dimension. He woke up on the planet Titan after Thanos it's snapped the gulag the here, first bro. time. Just hit me Take a look at his feet from the homicide camera. Legend has it he kicked got the Holy Spirit up. before his soul could be sanctified. He got sent to the graveyard from the east to the west. Back to the east. Oh, Get his parents on the phone. CTE is his 
future. His controller was disconnected. His conscious was evicted from his body. Fox News reported this as black on black crime. <laughs> Where's Boomer and Dr. Brief? We're gonna need the dragon radar. Somebody summon Shenron. Gather the dragon balls. Inject him with an IV of 17,000 blended sensu beans. He's gonna need a medic. Somebody please. Go to goddamn EMT. Alrighty, that's just gonna about do it for this one. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, peace out.